hi, it's Jerry here. And Jenna and I are getting ready to take our spring early summer trip. Uh, for the past two years, we've been going down to the beach and we have found a, uh, a great campground that we enjoy that's literally right across the street from the beach. But, you know, as <clears throat> so many times that we get within our campers and things, when Joan and I like to sleep, we like a little air movement on us. We do have an air conditioner here that, you know, is, that is ducked. Uh, we've got another air conditioner in the front of the camper. And in the evenings, we won't run this one because it's so loud and I'm a light sleeper. When that thing goes off, it's just so noisy. We run the one that's up in the front and it comes out of the ducts here. And, you know, that, that works really, really well. But again, you know, we're uh, like when we go this year to the beach, uh, we're going to be paying for a whole month and we have to pay for electricity. So <clears throat> that air conditioner running, you know, day in and day out, it can run into a few extra dollars. But when we sleep, we like a little bit of airflow on us. You know, we just like a little bit of movement. Um, I don't know, it just seems to be more restful for us. In our sticks and bricks, you know, we have the ceiling fan. And we couldn't put a ceiling fan here. It would go right about where you see my hand at. And I'm six foot one. Um, we put a ceiling fan up here. I don't think I could even get something low enough profile without it taking the top of my head off. So I have no interest in doing that. Um, so what we've used in the used to date, it, let me lower the camera a little bit, is this little Lasco fan. And this fan has served us really well. I mean, it's uh, here. I'll turn it on. You know, you can see you can put it on oscillate, and it's quiet. I've got my mic on right now, it's very, very quiet, and it moves the air really, really nice and moves it around the bed. But um, let me show you the downside of it. The downside, <clears throat> if, you know, if Joan's coming from around the bed here, this, you know, in the morning, at night, this thing is right in the way. I think I might have showed you this in the um, video where I'm doing the tour of the fifth wheel. Uh, we took this washer-dryer area and we converted that into Joan's makeup area, which she just loves. I scored a lot of points on that one. Um, but when she goes to put her makeup on and she sits here, we got to pick the fan up and move it. So we've been doing this for three years and we were looking for another alternative. So a few months ago, we were, we were really saying, hey, we got to come up with an alternative. You know, let's, let's put this to rest. It served us well, three years into this thing, still running great actually. But what can we do? Again, we can't go with the ceiling fan option here. The thought is, if you can see in this little space right here, is there a way that we could put maybe, I used to call them schoolhouse, okay, I'm gonna date myself, schoolhouse fans. <laughs> you remember when you were in the first grade, if you're my age, we had that, we had, didn't have air conditioning. Yeah, I know, we walked uphill to school both ways with snow on the ground, enough jokes. <laughs> but we, um, you know, we had these fans hung on the wall and that was it. It just blew hot air. But I was looking to see if we could find something like that. And, and by golly, we did. <clears throat> I wasn't sure what size to get. They had a 16 inch in this and an 18. And I was looking for the largest motor and the largest fan that would probably fit within this area. I did come up and do a little bit of measuring. But the thought was, um, you know, bigger motor, bigger fan. Uh, run a lower speed and it would be quieter at night and uh, I hope this works so mm, um, you're going to get to experience this <laughs> with me for the first go round um, just like me doing it okay so here's what we ordered this is called a hurricane it's an 18 inch oscillating fan uh, I don't know what makes it the Supreme Series, but that's good, I guess. But it's a Hurricane 18-inch oscillating wall mount fan. And um, it, the, the ratings on Amazon were absolutely fantastic. Uh, everybody seemed to like it a lot. Um, you know, I'll give it a 9 out of a 10. Um, so we're going to give this guy a try. So let me lower the camera. I'll show you the pieces and parts to it. And, uh, and we'll put it together and see what it's going to take to get this thing going. I don't think this is going to take us but about three or four minutes, really. Here's the pieces and parts. You know, there's not a whole lot to it, really. I'm going to kind of slide it out of the way. We've got the, the motor and the wall assembly. We've got a fan blade, front and back guard. So um, let's just take a moment here. I'm going to slide this out of the way. It's got, um, <clears throat> it's got a little knob here that you take off. And then this base that you take off. I'm going to set the fan here. And uh, this thing is keyed. Okay, we're going to figure this out together. Not much to it. There you go. That goes on like this. And then, according to the instructions, yes, I did read them, I promise. 
This goes on like so, and you're supposed to finger tight. It's plastic, I guess if you get too carried away, it will bust. So here we go. Then if you'll notice, if you can pick this up, can you see this? I don't know if I can get it. This has got right here, it's got a little key and that's for the fan blade here. This fan blade has a, a little notch in it right here. So we'll take this guy and we'll put him like so and make sure he fits in his notch. There we go. You actually hear it snap. This screws back on clockwise. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. It's left-handed. And for me, being a left-hander, that's rare. Because I definitely live in a right-handed world. Okay, so we've got that. Then I'm going to take this guy here. I am going to find center because I'm funny about stuff like this, but I want my little logo. It says hurricane, and I want that to be straight. It's not really keyed. There's a little... There's a little spot here for it. And that looks like that is about straight. And then you got these little keys on the side that lock it in. Not, not a whole lot to it, really. There we go. And there's that one. It looks like I've got one here at the top. Just a little bit of pressure. Bang! That is assembly, boys and girls. That's all it is to it. Wow. All right, let's put our bracket up here on the top. In an effort to save time, I went ahead and pre-measured this and, and put some dr and drilled the holes here for this bracket. Uh, it does have an up and a down. That's very important because it kind of wedges that little metal piece in the back that hangs it. Um, I did take a stud finder. I was very fortunate to find a stud on one end, but it's hollow on this. So I did use one of those little small plastic wall anchors and uh, let's just cross our finger and hope that everything sticks. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and get this started. Looks like that's going to work perfect. You know, it's really, it's going to take me about maybe five minutes. Look at that. Nice and tight, okay? Now, if I did my measuring right, this thing will just snap right here at the top and just slide right in. So let's see what's gonna happen. That is it. Can you imagine that? So I'm gonna take the old Lasco and retire him. He has served us well. And then I had installed this. I borrowed, I borrowed um, a circuit off of where the washer and dryer goes and cut a little hole and put this in some time ago. And uh, that's, as a matter of fact, you would have thought that I had a master plan to do this. And uh, if all goes well, let's see how loud it's going to be. I'm going to put this on low. So I'm up here close to the fan. That's not loud at all. And it looks like this thing has got some little pull attachments here that you use to set the angle. And then you can move it up and down. So that looks like that's probably going to work out the best. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the, move the camera, and I'm going to go over here to the bed. And we'll see how loud this is on its lowest setting. I'll, I'll go ahead and share. It's a little warm in here. This thing is moving a lot of air. Uh, and it's not loud at all. So let's see what this thing sounds like. Well, I'm here chilling in the bed. I've got my new 18 inch hurricane fan up against the wall. Um, wow, that's turned out good. It took me five or six minutes. Um, I probably, last night when I got the box, I might have taken that five or six minutes to look at the instructions. Five or six minutes to install it. Not bad, it's running now. And I'll be quiet for a second. That's all the noise that it makes. Isn't that nice? The airflow, it being 18 inches, is really quite substantial, and I got it on the lowest settings. I can probably turn it up. It's got two more. 
that would make it a lot higher. What I like about it is really flat up against the wall and it's a little bit behind the chest of drawers. So as you walk around, you know, from the bed out um, in the evenings or something like that in the dark as you're going to the bathroom at night or something like that, uh, you're not going to bump into it. And uh, wow, that's nice. I like that. So we've installed us a new fan. We're ready to go to Florida now. There's nothing that's going to stop us. The breeze in here feels really, really nice. <clears throat> you know, I think I'm going to take a nap. So as always, this is Jerry. Oh, I do love RV life. Night-night.